What's up, folks? It's me, aka Justin, and today we're going to talk about for a very long time how to start a job board in WordPress. Uh, this is kind of different format from the usual, just me talking. I got a PowerPoint made up. It's like thirty plus slides. Video is probably going to be like forty plus, an hour long plus, like a long ass video. Uh, but I'm just going to hop into this PowerPoint by doing this boom right there, a little click of the button. Not even going full screen with it. And we'll get back. We'll, we'll just get into it. If you don't know who I am, if you're not, uh, you know, on the channel or whatever, you're not subscribed, what up? I'm Justin Charnell. Uh, I'm a big old computer geek since before I can remember. You know, growing up, I was always on the computer playing games or messing around with like, uh, what are they, like, what was that old rain meter, rain maker, whatever it's called, just to make my desktop look cool dicking around on different forums, staying up till the wee hours of the morning, just exploring the internet. I uh, kind of started doing inter internet marketing in 2014, doing like eBooks, uh, actually March of 2014, started selling eBooks on like KDP and uh, iTunes and the Google uh, bookstore and Kobo and all that. Uh, you know, and through that, I was making websites like a personal blog and also like websites for the pen names to kind of get people back, you know, into that ecosystem of buying those books. I started my first like money website, I'll say in 2016, which was a lead gen website. Uh, you know, I, I call it a money website because I made it for the purpose of making money. It wasn't a personal blog. It wasn't a, you know, whatever it was. The sole purpose was I'm going to make this to make money. Uh, I just threw in graduate from college 2018, just there's a fun tidbit. Uh, <laughs> Somewhere around between 2015 and 2017, I started doing print on demand, uh, creating designs, putting on like Merch by Amazon, T Public, Redbubble, um, Spreadshirt, things like that, which which you know makes a pretty consistent like recognizable income every month. And it's it's probably the most consistent and easy to start. And who's who, who knows what's going to happen this year? Uh, moving on. So what are you going to learn today? Uh, creating job board or starting job board. Why you should create a job board, whether you have an established website or a brand new website, uh, some of the plugins and themes that you know I've used, and again, not going into a whole lot of detail as far as that goes, because when you get to that slide, I mean, any theme will work realistically. Uh, traffic sources, um, you know, from SEO to P, uh, not really getting to paid because I don't know anything about paid. And I'll talk about that later. Uh, doing email marketing, both cold and to customers whatever monetization and implementation and by implementation i mean at what stage you are as far as web your website goes and your budget so there's going to be a few options like uh, no budget some budget and then if you already had a an established website i'm not going to go over like hosting and installing wordpress and things like that because y there's other videos about out there uh for this uh most of the time if somebody recommends hosting it's because they get a nice affiliate commission off that so uh i wouldn't recommend any <laughs> i wouldn't recommend bluehost i wouldn't recommend hostgator i wouldn't recommend any of those websites um personally my hosting is now on vero tech uh but that's that so let's get into this john uh why should you create a job board well dude huge monetization potential with little additional effort on your part. Like this is this is when I started January 1. Uh, this is just the clip of last year. As you can see, you know, $4,400, almost $4,500 in virtual products. Like that's, it's, it's, a, it's a good or service that you can provide that doesn't require any extra effort on your part besides setting up. Uh, that's that's why it's awesome. I mean, I, this is a brand new website set up then, and it, it just works. Granted, that forty five hundred all wasn't from job postings. I'm going to talk about additional services when I get to monetization later, but just solely from job postings, over three thousand dollars. Over three thousand dollars in something in a virtual service. Literally, you set it up and. It's set up. It's done. You 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 put in the work. You put in your work elsewhere, but that product will continue to sell. So that's why uh, you should start a job board. Whether it's like again, I said, 
whether it's uh, on a website that's already established that makes sense to have job board, or you start a brand new website uh, and have the job board be the main function. And just looking at the RPM, because that's where, I mean, this isn't a, this isn't a passion project, this is to make money. Uh, my RPM, my revenue per mile, my revenue per thousand visitors, more than doubled with the jobs. Uh, so without the, if I just took out the job board aspect, I would have made $21.65 for every 1,000 visitors. With the job board, that number went up to $55.05. So over, over two and a half times increase with the job board on there. And with all products, all my virtual products, uh, nearly 10 times the, you know, the total revenue from, if I would have not had it, uh, not have the job board, not had any of the, the digital downloads, uh, my RPM, taking those out of the equation, is less than $6. Um, yeah, the RPM is less than $6. Now, granted, that number's a little, you know, it, it, it just, it looks impressive, um, the nine times increase now, but had I not had the job board aspect or those products, that the traffic would have been significantly lower, but the 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 earnings would have stayed the same so um again that's that's kind of a little trick a little little manipulation of the data to make it look like it's a lot more impressive than it really is so other benefits all right you get repeat customers uh you, you when you have a when you have a company that comes in and posts a job and they find a hire from your job board they're going to come back and they're going to keep coming back and you're basically you're you're keeping them in your ecosystem, your 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 website. They're coming back to your website, posting jobs, continuing to find candidates, and it just works for them. Which means it's gonna you know put money in your pocket, which you can then use to expand, or make, create new content, uh, throw towards paid advertising, whatever your case is, whatever whatever you need to do with that money. They're gonna keep coming back, and it's only gonna help you out in the long run. Uh, if you're going to keep 97% of your revenue, depending on your, your payment processor, uh, I, use, I use both Stripe and PayPal on, on my job board. And, you know, minus the fees, which is like, eh, it's about, comes out to maybe like 2.5%, whatever. That's all, it's, it's, your, it's yours, like, you know, before taxes and all that. But that's your money. That is, you're not doing like an affiliate uh, promotion where, you know, like Amazon, taking four to eight percent or another you know some kind of affiliate uh commission this is 100 percent yours you can hire out affiliates to to promote your stuff uh you can also expand into additional products and services when when you kind of get an idea of what your audience is looking for for instance i started with just the job board i had a bunch of articles created one of the articles was reach, reaching out to a digital product, a, a template download, you know, and I was starting to make a little affiliate sales. So I was like, hmm, I don't know how to create this product, but I can pay somebody that does. So I paid them $200 to make this template download, listed it on my website. Within 12 hours, it sold. And I went from making, you know, 10% of a, the, the commission from, website x to 97 percent of the, the the sale because i made my own and people were coming to the site it was the recommendation and they liked it so they bought it and now you know i expanded to a second one which is also doing well and i'm continuing to expand the line and so i want to have like i want to have 10 by the end of the year 10 templates out there in the world working for me because at this point they're each of them are making about 50 to 100 bucks a month. Not, not too crazy, but if I have 10, that's an extra five to a thousand dollars a month that I can go put towards more content, um, lead gen, whatever the case is. So you're also going to get an expansion of your content, meaning not every piece of content that you put out has to be monetized. It could be something simple like asking or answering a question that somebody will search for and then they see, oh, this person has a job board. If it's a, you know, how do I write a job description for a construction project manager? They come to the website, they read that, they go, oh, this is a job board for construction jobs. I'm going to post a job. 
boom, it's monetized that way. You know, and a majority of people won't, won't, you know, do that. But, you know, if you, if you have one or two people do that a month, depending on your pricing, that's, that's really good. And then again, going back to the repeat customers, they're going to be just added into your funnel, not even your fan funnel, your entire sales ecosystem. They're just going to keep coming back. Uh, and also easier backlinks. So if you're doing any kind of content marketing SEO, you know, backlinks are pretty powerful as far as um, SEO and, and your, your signals to the old big G upstairs. Not God, Google. You're going to get easier backlinks because you're not just strictly writing, you know, product review website or product review articles or, or whatever the case is, whatever you're doing now, whatever you have done. You, you're providing a service, a business-to-business -business service. So I've got backlinks from uh, Better Teams, which is a, uh, you know, it's all about hiring or whatever, uh, from some industry kind of news publication places, um, from resume writing services, all kinds of different places. And they're, they're totally cool linking back to you. Um, a lot of them organic just because they, they routinely want to keep their information up to date. Um, so it's, it's, it's a lot easier getting backlinks. I've got uh, .edu backlinks being listed on like uh, the resource pages of, you know, uh, Mizzou's uh, career, whatever. Uh, so you got a lot more opportunity for backlinks by offering a service as opposed to just, you know, having content out there and whatever writing articles. And your valuation, if you're trying to create something to sell, your valuation is going to go through the roof. Um, the multiple, just because you're not relying on just affiliate marketing or display ads. You have your own product. You, you have your own email list of customers that you can continue to market to and provide value to. You might, you know, this is, this is totally independent of what broker you use or independent whatever. But you could probably, you're going to reach the, the higher end of the multiple. 35, 40 times just by having that, that, that digital asset. Zero work needed. It is all there. It's gotten to the point for me that I don't even, I don't even have people like sending me emails asking questions about things anymore. Because it's all like, as soon as you get a question about something, you create that, that um, FAQ. You create that, that, uh, addition to the download it's 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 a very beautiful thing <laughs> all right so that's why you should you should create this so, so let's talk about the plugins and themes i'll we'll go plugins first um so job board plugins i use wp job manager it's free to install like there's a basic mode um it, it'll allow companies to come and post their jobs cool I pay $125 a year. Actually, it was $125 the first year and $87.50 the second year. I don't know if there's a recurring like a uh, discount or whatever, but basically that'll allow you to, you know, have all these additional features, benefits. You can have people apply directly to the site. You can have people apply through email to the to the company or the link to their uh, ATS, which is an applicant tracking system. Basically, you know, they're it makes it easier for them to figure out who's matching up with their jobs. Um, you can have it automatically create a company's page, listing all the companies that post. There's, there's a lot of additional benefits. One of the biggest that you're going to need, it, unless you're a developer, is the, uh, the paid aspect. Uh, for the most part, um, the reason why they're free to install, whatever, they're not going to allow you to accept payment for the job postings. Unless you're a developer, then you can do all this, you can do your thing. But for someone like me, I'm a marketer first and foremost before you know a developer or anything like that. WordPress is just my mirror. Websites are my medium. Uh, you're gonna wanna pay. And honestly, if you have a you know if you have faith in your product and you have you know if you have a you know, if you if you know you're going to be dedicated, $125, you can make that back in one, two three job posts so it's really a small price to pay um for keeping that updated and, and like i said that's what i use i use wp job manager there's also wp job board um you know 
I can't really speak on this much because I don't use it. I can go, I can go read the website, but you know, if you, if you want to compare and contrast, go ahead. I know this is $97 a year for the license. I'm sure there's either a flat rate or a discount, whatever. There's also job board manager. Uh, there, I, I went on the website cause I was just going to try to look for the price and it just said like, it really didn't say the, the price. It was really weird. So it, you know, if you want to get on there, WP job manager, that's what I use. It's worked. I like it. There's a lot of additionals. Um, again, you can go look at their, their, their additions page, their sales page and see which one works for you. And again, no matter what plugin, no matter the plugin, unless you're a developer, you're gonna have to pay to get paid. Um, unless you do some kind of alternate way of, of allowing the posts, if you want it to be, you know, hands off, they, they enter all their job information. They decide if they want to post the featured listing, the, the standard, whatever you're going to have to pay. So just accept that, <laughs> uh, that that's what it is. So as far as job board themes, uh, most of the plugins use short code. So any theme will work. Like you could use a newspaper style theme. You could use a business theme. You could like, they really don't matter. You could use a theme made for job boards, but I found that if you, if you're only making a job board and that's your only, you know, that's what your website's going to be. Use a, use a, you know, I used work scout, which worked great. It's not a bad theme, but as far as, you know, selling a product, the, the, the layouts weren't exactly idea. The blogs weren't, uh, weren't idea. So I just switched back to something else familiar with, which is flat some, which is an e-commerce kind of uh, theme. I got a good page builder. You know, obviously, you know, if you're a developer, do your thing. Uh, for me, I'm not a developer. I use themes. I don't care about bloat. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, the hosting can can take care of some of that some of that uh, those site speed issues. So, any theme will work. Again, I use short code doesn't matter it does not matter i'm not going to recommend one over another one because they all work go with one you're familiar with go with one you already know let's talk about traffic sources and i just, i got a little little clip of my like you know my first year there which i if i if i would, if I would extend it all the way to today it would have been a little bit higher because you know the nature of jobs and job seeking um as you can see by the trend there you know if you, during the middle of the week, it goes up, weekends it dips. Middle of the week goes up, dips. Uh, disregard this kind of, this right here, that was a, um, something was wrong with my tracking. And then of course, come December, you know, again, nobody's at work. Um, I don't know if you can really see, let me move my camera out of the way. You can see a huge dip in December, just cause nobody's at work, nobody's looking for jobs, everybody's at home with their families, um, doing the holiday thing. So let me put that back and we will move forward oops all right i'm gonna take a drink of water and then we'll get into this and all these examples are just stemming from my experiences and you'll know that you know when we get further down uh what i'm what i'm more ad adept at rather than not so first source of traffic i used to get my um job board up and rolling was cold email um that's i mean regardless of how you personally feel about getting cold email it works it's the easiest way to reach out and get your you know information or your website on somebody else's um well radar that's what i use in my cold email so you're looking when you're doing your prospecting you're gonna be looking for human resource kind of roles primarily um i was reaching out also to like you know ceos and whatever things like that just because generally speaking, you know, those guys will filter it down to whoever it needs to go to. Um, you want to go from the top down when you're doing cold email. If you're sitting there sending emails to assistants and, 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 you know, Joe Schmo works at the, works at the company, you, you're, you're worse off than if you're emailing CMOs, CEOs, whatever, those project managers, those higher, um, higher up on the hierarchy positions. But 
Human resources, obviously, that's going to be the biggest because there's one that's gen they they're generally taking care of hiring. Um, when you're doing your emails, keep them short to the point. Don't try to have paragraph after paragraph because one, they don't know who the hell you are, so they're not going to care what you have to say. And you know, just based on email, you know, people usually have it on their phone. If you can get your entire message into one one screen size like that's great so just an example that I, I use and i have used hey you know their first name i don't use the last name i should change that hey first name i just want to throw on your radar our new job board uh at uh a, a, <laughs> i just want to throw on your radar our new job board addition to your website and this is if you're adding it on um say if you're starting new i just want to throw on your radar uh, a new job board at website. Right now we're getting around 40K job seekers to the website and it would be irresponsible of me not to let you know at their company's name. So, I mean, this will obviously change. Don't sit there and lie about your numbers. Don't, don't uh, you know, <laughs> say you're getting 100,000 people on your website um, a month and, you're, and you just launched a week ago. That's you don't want to start, uh, you know, the relationship off on that on a level. These are these are companies that will be willing to pay you time and time again, month over month, not in like a subscription base unless you use that model. But anytime they have a post job, if you have candidates that want to apply to their shit, they will continue to post their jobs. I, I've, I had one company that posted like at, at least a. a a job a month one company continued to just wham bam bam bang it out and i was all i could always look forward to it because either on like the it was either the 7th or the 22nd of every month um like clockwork so don't try to you know start the relationship off on a bad foot uh it's just not a, it's not a good look so it's cold email that was the primary source second was seo okay Obviously, you can tell by this slide that this is kind of my jam right here. So you got two kinds of content. You have your informational content, your product and service content. So for informational content, you want to create content based around the job search or in getting hired in your industry or region. So depending on what kind of job board you want to make or the, you know, what, uh, what niche you're in, whether it's like you want to go with an industry I'm only do construction jobs or a, a region where it's like, I don't know, uh, Indiana jobs, Chicago jobs, whatever. You want to write informational content about that industry or region or city. Um, big recommendation. Don't try to be, uh, in, unless you have the budget, in which case you want to be watching this video, don't try to compete with an indeed or monster and try to you know be a general job board you're gonna have a bad time you just you don't have the if unless you have the resources if you don't have the resources to you know compete on that level don't try it's they're 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 just industry giants and you're better off niching down so some examples of uh content to create for informational content would be like what to include in an uh or a uh construction job cover letter best universities for construction in in canada how to become a uh certified public accountant the cost of living and, that, and those are just for you know industry if you're doing a construction jobs or accounting jobs.com or whatever if you're going something like city you can go cost of living in chicago because and then our oh, best restaurants in chicago because people when they're wanting to move to those cities they're gonna be searching for things like that you're you know, especially if you're a city based job board a lot of the posts are come from uh i guess you know lower on the totem pole type jobs or uh labor jobs as opposed to like you know well, we're looking for a chief marketing officer at this company um, because, well, what if that, <laughs> what if that CMO is still working there? It can, can cause some, uh, some drama, if you will. 
So you can start creating content about for people or about the city for people trying to move there, people in the city already. You can make content, yeah, just generally about the city, region, whatever, about the industry um, that'll attract professionals or transients. Also, you can go, how long does it take to learn um, Revit or how to get uh, I don't know, your PMP or how long does it take to get your PMP, professional um, management? No, I don't know. I know PMP is a certification. I just don't know what it's uh, about. Obviously, that's not with my job board. It's not including my job board. But skills and increasing those skills. Uh, those those kind of articles get a lot of, not a lot, but they'll get traffic, but they won't convert right away to job seekers, whatever. But you'll implant in there. You know, if you create really good content, they will see that and go, all right, uh, I remember, you know, accountantjobs.com when they, told me how long it'd take to be a CPA and uh, let's go see what kind of jobs I had on there. Um, so that's like you create informational content to attract people to your audience. And you create product and service content where you talk about whatever you got going on. Um, and that can be, you know, trying to sell them something or sell them your, uh, your service. So some examples are where to find jobs in Chicago, you know, if, if, if you're doing Chicago, you know, cost of living in Chicago, best restaurants in Chicago, where to find jobs in Chicago. And you list number one, or don't, don't rank it, just the first one right here on chicagojobs.com. You write your little pitch, whatever, boom, get them to click over, and then they're searched for jobs. Um, you can also do something like best, uh, if you're on to affiliate marketing uh, for products, to kind of bring in some alternative sources of revenue. You can do, you know, best uh, training program for the PMP. If, you know, if they offer an affiliate program or they, uh, they have affiliates working for them to try to sell their products. Also, one of the great things about starting a job board, especially if you do industry, is you can you have so much more content to talk about as far as affiliate goes or affiliate marketing products. So even if you're doing something like Amazon, because it's not just you're only writing about, you know, sunglasses and glasses and that's it, you know, like bestglasses.com, terrible exact magic domain, don't do that. But you can, you can go down the line from, you know, construction jobs. So best uh, work boots for construction workers, best tool belts for construction workers, best safety vests, uh, best thermoses, and you add that modifier for your industry, for your uh, profession, and you're gonna get you're gonna get a, a fine-tuned audience, fine-tuned audience that are going to come on. They're gonna see that the content that you have written is made for them. They'll click through and buy. That's that's it. If you if you uh, if you have a service like uh, additionally you have a resume writing service you know best resume writing service for construction workers it's all I mean it's you're gonna get only people looking for resume writing services for construction workers you're not gonna get somebody that's a, a dishwasher trying to get their stuff done or an architect or or a, or a, a, <laughs> I don't know an IT professional. So there's that. Paid traffic. If you if you know how to do paid traffic, do paid traffic. I can't speak on paid traffic because I don't do paid traffic. I've experimented a little bit with this website, doing some ads on like, um, uh, you know, some some AdWords, doing a little bit of some Bing action. Actually posted some on Reddit also, but I just don't. That's not my chops. That's not that's not what I'm. That's not what I have skills and so i can't talk about paid traffic but it's there if you know how to do paid traffic you know how to set up all that and do your thing i can't speak on it because i don't know anything about it social media uh there's really i kind of call it i, I got two kind of different things for or names for social media you have timeline social media and then evergreen social media uh, timeline being like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, where you have a timeline and, you know, after a week or two, 
the stuff you posted doesn't fucking matter anymore. It's gone. It is in the, it's fairy dust. Uh, and if I could recommend something, I'd say automate that if possible, just to have that, uh, just to have that presence, but don't try to build a following on, you know, Twitter for your job board or Facebook, like a Facebook page for your job board. It's, uh, it's, they're not, they're, 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 we're interacting and being there and talking. And if you have, if you have the time to do that, or you can hire somebody to do that, sit there and post on the social, social media platforms all day, every day, go for it. But I'd say if you want stick to stick to LinkedIn, cause that's where job seekers, job, uh, professionals or just professionals hang out. Do LinkedIn, and then you have your evergreen social. Uh, Pinterest being the biggest. I put YouTube in here, um, just because. Yeah, it's not technically a, like a social media platform, but it is an alternative uh, media platform in that it's not written; it's video. But you can take those written articles, just convert them into YouTube videos via. You know, just reading the article out loud. You don't even have to. You can make it PowerPoint like this. You can use stock videos. You can just do a talking head uh, video. But convert those articles into videos. Embed those videos back into your articles. And not only will you rank for uh, the written content, but your videos will rank also. So you, you can see, especially on Google and on Bing too, if that's your if your search engine of choice, uh, they have they're including you know, videos and uh, products in the, you know, the SERPs, the search engine result pages. So <laughs> you can rank for the video and your article. And if your article's not even ranking, you can still rank for the video. If somebody searching for how to get PMP, uh, your PMP certification, and you have a video talking about that, you know, assuming the competition isn't high, you could rank for the video. You go to the video, watch the video, they see your brand, they go to your website. They, you know, do their thing. Pinterest is great because Google is the search engine for written content. YouTube's a search engine for video content. And Pinterest is the search engine for visual content, images. So get on Pinterest. Uh, you, I, whatever your Pinterest strategy is, go for it. I know some people are more about uh, creating really high quality uh, images and graphics and uh, infographics, things like that. Me, I play a volume based game on Pinterest, pinning as much as I can, leading back to the website. And that's grown my job boards, Pinterest account to like 2.8 million viewers uh, per month at the time. It's running. Actually, it's like, it's like 3.2 now. Like it is, it hit 1 million in December and has grown exponentially since then. So, whatever your Pinterest strategy is, do your thing. And those two should be your focus as far as other traffic sources um, outside of, you know, the usual just writing articles and, and whatnot. Onward, push notifications. If you know what push notifications are, they are that little pop-up that, you know, so many websites get wrong and they, they show up as soon as somebody lands on the website. They say, are, you want to show notifications? It's, uh, you know, it says allow and block in the top left corner. That, that's an easy way to get repeat visitors. It's super easy. I, I have it. So uh, I use uh, one signal. And as soon as I publish a new article, it automatically pushes out to my, my article seekers. Um, the people that read the articles, that subscribe for the articles. Uh, it's not anytime somebody posts a new job, Automatic push notifications for all the job seekers. And you, you don't, this is not entirely necessary, but if, it's, if you can segment out your lists so you have a list for, you know, job seekers and article seekers. Um, that way you don't kind of make anybody mad or, you know, not mad, but frustrated that they're receiving notifications for job postings when they really just give a damn about uh, when's the next article about. Um, improving their resume comes out or whatever. So you can also, once that starts getting, you know, uh, going and you start getting a pretty solid list, you're not going to see a huge amount of, you know, uh, click throughs for every push notification. But, you know, once you have 
if you have a thousand, two thousand um, subscribers, you might get like ten to twenty uh, visitors initially off that that publish. As soon as you hit a a push notification out there, they will uh, they'll click through and they'll read what you got and they'll buy something or share it or whatever. And it's a it's just an easy way to get repeat visitors. They liked you enough to say yes. I want to know more. I want you to interrupt whatever I'm doing. So do it. Passport. Next, you got the email marketing, which is uh, just a super easy way once things start rolling. Uh, not to be confused with cold email. Uh, like for cold email, I use Agile CRM. For my email marketing, I used Clavio. You know, and it's it's for uh, opt-ins for the you know newsletter type uh, feeds and also customers. So you set up the basics, you have your welcome email when somebody becomes a customer, you have your win backs. For instance, if, if a company, if somebody posts a job and 90 days later, they don't post another job or within 90 days, they don't post another job, they get sent an email saying, hey, are you looking for new candidates? You know, come back and post a job. And if they don't post then, you know, 180 days and 270 days and 365 days, every, not, every three months, I have an email go out to like come back and post again. And it's, I'm like, wow, I'm like, why are you sending them so many emails? Like, it's really fucking not. Every three months, just to say, hey, we're still over here. We're still around. Come back. Uh, you have your abandoned card emails, of course, which, you know, if somebody signs up, they post once, they come back a month later, they start filling something out, they're getting ready to check out, and something comes up, you know, whatever. They will, you know, get that email saying, hey, did you forget uh, your standard job posting? I go, oh. I did. Let me go back and finish that up. Uh, you have your thank you emails. You know, when somebody becomes a uh, whatever, they, they do something. They could become a customer for the first time. Not to be confused with your welcome email, but hey, thanks for, you know, whatever. Thanks for being a customer. Uh, you also have your VIP lists, your VIP uh, emails, which go out when somebody's like, say, whatever your threshold is. Whether that's they spend a thousand dollars on your job board, you know, you send them, "Hey, thanks for being with us." Blah blah blah. Here's a coupon code uh, for ten percent off all future listings. Like, not only are they they're good, like they like keep coming back. You, you give them some incentive to come back even more. You give them another thank you. Just hey, thanks for just you know taking a chance. Uh, I hope you're finding the candidates you're looking for. Well, let's keep this money train rolling. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, the basics. Um, I also set up drip feed, um, drip feeds for like news, news letter style feeds where somebody signs up. Cause like I said, I, I got articles about the product and service and also just, you know, best, uh, sunglasses for construction workers, shit like that. So if somebody goes on that article, there's a, you know, an opt in that says, Hey, are you looking for more, you know, emails about or looking for more articles about um, construction worker gear sign up here they sign up boom i have a a week after they sign up they'll get uh, the first email in a sequence just you know hey it, it, it's like a newsletter it reads like a newsletter but it's just a drip feed uh just keep them coming back find things looking at other things have that just have the brand and ingrained in their brain as being the source for whatever product or service you're, you're creating in this case a job board and then you have every other any other emails you know um this last year i sent out a thank you email at the end of the year to all the customers that had used the free portion of the job board but hadn't paid yet and i said hey you know thanks you can here's a coupon code all right i threw a little ps at the end if you use this coupon code you get a 20% off any uh, paid job postings until February. And sure enough, somebody, somebody bought some. So I made like literally three emails, <laughs> three emails, or not three emails, three sentences. Hey, thanks for making this year great. This is our first year. We're up to about, you know, 10,000 job seekers a month now. Thanks again. Let's, let's, uh, I hope you use the service in the future. My signature, PS, uses coupon code for 20% off. Uh, job postings and made like $240 off that email. Uh, 
no bullshit. <laughs> uh, again, coupon codes already kind of touched on that. And any kind of new service or product you create. So, for instance, one of my opt ins is a free template download. They enter the email, they get this you know, four page template, just kind of get a baseline for uh, a portfolio they create. So, those people that opt into that, uh, uh, that download, they get added to a feed, uh, a drip feed, which is basically like, all right, here's, here's more information about how to start creating your portfolio and, and setting that up and making that happen. And then at the end of that, I get, you know, or during those emails and also at the end, I pitch, you know, the paid, the full length portfolios, the 20 pagers that in just their entire layouts right there. So I have a list of, you know, 400 or so people that have either bought one in the past or are on the free list. Anytime I come out with a new portfolio template, I can email those people and say, hey, you know, if you or I can segment it. So if they haven't bought any, but they got the free one, hey, you didn't like you might not have liked those ones earlier. Here's this one. Maybe you like this one. It's an instant way to get a few customers or a few uh, conversions and a few sales on day one. So email marketing is great great especially you're diving into the, the e-commerce world now if, uh, that's your kind of your first foray um, into that beautiful thing to have beautiful thing let's talk about monetization i'm gonna take another drink of water because i've been going for about 41 minutes so I'm, damn. so here's my here this is this is the numbers from my job board that i started in you know january 1 i launched all the way up till december 31st so in job postings, I made $3,100, and I rounded to the nearest 50 uh, just to make the numbers nicer to look at. $3,100, which accounted for 61% of the revenue. Uh, product one, which is the portfolio templates, made $1,350, uh, accounting for 26% of the revenue. Product two, which is a, for a resume template, it's made $100, 2%. Affiliate marketing, linking out to uh, mostly Amazon, uh, $450 or 9% of the revenue and then regular advertising display ads, $100, or 2% of the revenue. So first year, you know, that, that accounts for those first three or four months before there were any, um, big dollars spent all the way up till now. It's, uh, that's compared to just a you know, regular affiliate marketing website, you know, how many affiliate marketing websites make five thousand dollars in their first year? It's really not not in the cards. So that's kind of why I went with this model this time around for this website. So obviously, number one, job postings. You want to offer a variety of packages. You want to have your one-offs, your 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 premium options. Uh, for instance, my job board. It's free to post. It is free to post unlimited jobs. There's an option to pay for featured listings. And that's it. That's it. Uh, it's free to post. I'm going, I'm going back to the previous side. It's free to post as many as you want. But people still bought the feature listings and made over $3,000. Free to post. Why? I'm going to go back two more slides. Email marketing. Because I can sit there and say to those, those guys that bought the free posts, hey, we're offering a coupon. Hey, we got this going on. Hey, we're starting to surge traffic. Hey, we got people looking for this job type. That's what it is. So job postings, again, with a variety, you wanna offer your standard, your featured, whether it's $30 for 30 days, a featured 30, you know, $90 for 30 days, but it's on the top of the list and we'll send you out to our emails. You, you kind of figure that out on your own. For me, it was a free option. I wanted it to be free and then a feature listing for around $150. Um, and, and those packages, you know, if you have a, say, $50 for one job post, well, give them a package of five for $200. Give them a discount, you know, you basically buy five, get one free. If they buy 10, it's, it's $350, whatever your numbers are. But give them an option to give you more money for a discount. Because again, you could literally sell these for $1 and make money. Or like make profit because it is it's a past the setting up and and the initial costs everything was everything's profit there's no there's no shipping there's no handling there's no 
widgets to make. It's all digital. Beautiful. And again, you can pay per individual posts or subscription based. Uh, I know some sites they'll do like thirty dollars a month to post unlimited jobs, and you just your game there is to just get as many people to sign up as a subscription. It's a, almost treating it like a SaaS, and just collecting those thirty dollars from you got thirty people paying you thirty dollars a month. It's nine hundred dollars. That's nine hundred dollars goes straight towards more content to get that thirty and a sixty and a ninety and a hundred and eighty and beautiful job model golly <laughs> so job postings are going to be your primary source so i'm going in the order in which the percentage for my job board way so you have uh products your other products you have digital downloads for instance i'm using or i'm doing portfolio templates and resume templates they are they cost me the portfolio templates cost me two hundred dollars a piece to get uh, created. I, I I paid a designer uh, from Upwork. He made it. He made the the uh, like the mockups, the physical mockups, so I can use it on my product description page. And they make between fifty and hundred dollars a month. So two hundred dollars to make fifty to hundred dollars a month each. So. <laughs> That's a pretty solid uh, investment, in my opinion. Uh, you can do interview training, you can do certification training, you can do uh, ebooks, um, courses. There's so much you can do as far as expanding your product line uh, and product offers. Uh, you can do services like I don't know if I don't know if I have a slide for services, but if I do, I apologize to me in the future. Services like resume writing, uh, resume rewriting, uh, just a resume proofreading or editing. There's a lot you can do that might not be, you know, passive income, but still high ticket. Uh, payment $150 to review somebody's uh, resume, which might take you an hour. That's a that's a pretty good return. Um, you can also do physical products. Uh, you start a new product. Uh, this is not anything I do, so this is all just kind of um, can't think of the word right now. Uh, speculation um, or stuff I've seen on other job boards. So you start a new product. I know one uh, one of the job boards in my in my niche competitor, I guess. Uh, they started a coffee uh, brand, coffee bean brand. Uh, that might have been white label. Which, if you don't know, what white label is it's basically you take. You know, instead of the water fountains having this label on it, it would have my brand's label on it. It would say Justin Charnel on here, and then, you know, all the other information. But they make it, they produce it. I, I'll probably, I might have to handle shipping, I might have to handle all that, but the actual creation is based on their product. It's just a different label. You could try drop shipping. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go like the... If you're gonna do that, just so you don't tarnish your brand, I wouldn't try to go with you know the the AliExpress drop ship ninety day shipping. If you're gonna do some kind of drop shipping for your uh, industry, your niche, your region, whatever, try to stick local or regional or nationwide. If you're gonna if you're in the U.S. and you want to drop shit, drop ship, <laughs> drop shit. If you want to drop shit to people in the U.S. Find a U.S. dropship. They are out there. They, the margins might be slimmer, but at least those customers are going to get their products at a, you know, in an expected time frame, not 30, 45 days out like you get with you know, AliExpress or Alibaba. So, again, different ways you can expand your product line. Uh, some digital, some will take your time, some are physical products, but there's so many options out there. Uh, affiliate marketing. This kind of goes back to the SEO pay or slide I was talking about. But you recommend products to your audience. If you are, like I said, construction workers, you say you may not make an article, best sunglasses for construction workers, best work boots for construction workers, best uh, tool belts for construction workers. And it's going to drive a lot of traffic that might not convert right away to uh, users of your job board or posters, but 
they will get that imprint of your brand in their brain saying, okay, I need to go back to constructionjobs.com. When, when I bought those, those, those great Timberland work boots, <laughs> when I got those Tims that they recommended that are comfortable as hell, uh, that, that's a website that I, I like. Um, recommendation, I'd say go beyond Amazon. Don't just try to do product. I know that's what my, a lot of my examples are, but if you can find a, uh, somebody offering training in your industry, or or something or you want to create your own you know that's that's the option also but as far as affiliate marketing goes if you can find somebody doing training if you can find uh, software that people might use software training uh either maybe other products that you know like the the uh templates that i that i had made at first it was affiliate marketing on a on creative market i was sending people to creativemarket.com they started getting sales I was like all right well shit um i can just make my own and make you know 95 97 percent of the commission or of the revenue instead of 10 percent commission so that's that's a total that's an option as well um also the great thing about affiliate market is you can go think about it uh from b2b or b2c side so B to C, obviously, you know, you can link out to products that a, a, a person might use. Oh, best pencil holder for accountants, you know, some whatever. But B to B, you can also recommend bigger ticket items, uh, uh, software that might have a, a better uh, commission as far as recurring or one off. Like one of the articles that I had that I have written is. Uh, you know how to how to start a website how to start a portfolio website for this industry and those commissions are slowly starting to trickle in and they it went from you know a product recommendation where i get four percent which is great on an 800 hundred dollar product but terrible on a 15 dollar product to uh 60 dollars for somebody signing up or 40 dollars for a, a theme or whatever it's you can think outside of the box though some of the stuff and all it takes is really a google search for your industry affiliate uh programs so there's that option display ads um if you're using if you're doing an industry-based job board you know construction workers accountants architects uh copywriters water purification specialists uh an advertising platform like adsense you know everybody can start with adsense all these other ones, you kind of need a minimum amount of traffic per month to join. Ezoic, Media, Vine, Ad Thrive, Monumetric. Well, there's just a few. There's hundreds out there. Uh, that's probably going to be a better bet. If you're working regionally or locally, say you're, you know, ChicagoJobs.com, you can do direct ads, which are you work directly with the company, negotiate the rates. You say, all right, well, I get, I'm getting 4,000 people in Chicago to my website every single month. You give me, you know, a hundred dollars, and I can post your ad in the sidebar. Hundred dollars, and I'll, I'll give you a, a leaderboard ad, and you can sit there and negotiate. Well, I'm getting four thousand, and you're one of the best, uh, you know, construction sites in the in the city, or construction whatever uh, construction companies in the city, uh, for four hundred dollars a month, you know. But you're only the only people that are looking at here are people that are in Chicago or want to move to Chicago, so. Again, if if you're working regionally or locally, you kind of work the direct ads a little bit. Um, if you're doing like a nationwide um, industry or a worldwide industry, it's probably easier just to work with any advertising platforms for those display ads. And then, oh, I did have an additional services. Damn it, <laughs> I totally forgot. Um, additional services: uh, resume reviews and proofreading. Something simple. Again, you uh, fifty dollars a page. You're basically gonna read it. Um, make sure it looks. You know, there's no misspelled words. The formatting's good. It reads well on your device. Whatever. Simple to the point. Make sure you actually do a good job. You know, don't don't try to add a service that you don't know how to do because it's just gonna be bad for both parties. Uh, you're gonna like referrals gonna be huge uh, as far as like a resume service uh same with the resume writing you know 
the, the great thing about depending the well depending on your industry if you're doing an industry based job board once you write like five ten resumes they kind of start writing themselves in that you know there's only so many ways you can talk about a uh a, a network administrative role you know depending on the softwares they're using they're kind of gonna they're gonna be a lot of the similar uh bullet points or you know the cover letters will be similar things like that so once you get kind of a few of them written you your the time to completion goes down considerably which is great um you do one-on-one -on -one coaching again if they want you know interview help or or resume help or whatever uh there's that option you know and th again this is something that you'll have to think up like what exactly can I offer these people? Uh, they're going to they're gonna be paying me $200 an hour to help them out. Think about it. Whatever. <laughs> uh, a recruiting service. You know, if you, if you, this is more of the B2B side, the job search or job uh, posters. If they're just struggling to find a, uh, or fill a position, you can offer a recruiting service. Now, if you've never recruited before, I wouldn't recommend this. Or first timers, unless you can hire somebody to do this, because recruiting is a soul sucking job. <laughs> it is it's it's enjoyable for some people, but for the most part, it's it's a lot of cold calling and cold email and a lot of rejection. But again, but it also pays insane. Like commissions are thousands of dollars for finding a person because usually it's based off a percentage of their first year salary. So you find a position pays sixty thousand dollars, and you you say, okay, well, uh, we'll go ten percent of that, uh, you know that that first year salary. You find a guy for sixty thousand, you got you made six thousand dollars, but you're also doing work for a month, two months, unless you get lucky. So mm -hmm. pros and cons, payoffs, whatever. Um, also, job mm -hmm. description writing. You know, if, if that's what you like to do, if you'd like to you know write job descriptions again once you write about 10 they kind of write themselves and you have a nice swipe file of let me pick and choose do, 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 put it in there you got job description writing another service you know 50 dollars to write a job description turn around in an hour send it back there you go uh you can make changes as you need fit boom there it is <laughs> so a couple more services you can think about uh including besides just a simple job postings so implementation now i wanted to talk about you know how to actually do this depending on your budget depending on where you're at um and these are just like you know the first and third one are just ideas you know if i were to work with somebody or start again but the, the middle one is how i did it uh, i'll kind of explain my entire process then so so you want to have a brand new website you're making a brand new website you have no budget you have a budget of zero or not zero you have two hundred dollars to get hosting a name main uh domain name and a theme so let's say that's all you got that's what we got install the free job board plugin whatever one you use um i can't even think of the one i use damn it wp job manager whatever one it is install one of them just install let people post for free if you can't afford the the paid option let them post for free the hardest part about starting job board is getting that initial traffic. So what you're gonna wanna do is create as much content as you can on your own. You need to write your ass off. Uh, if you're writing articles, write your ass off. Write about how to write job descriptions. Go back to that previous um, slide and, and see the different kind of things you should be making. Go to answer the public, type in your uh, industry and start answering people's questions. Just you gotta write your ass off, baby. Uh, and additionally, turn those articles into videos. Uh, hit that hit that other audience, that visual, the, the the visual learners. Embed those articles or embed those videos into your articles, and keep that train rolling. And start pinning like crazy. Every time you write an article get 20 pins out there in the world all linking back to that article it's gonna be a slow trickle traffic but eventually shit adds up 
it's not like Twitter where, uh, you know, you, you, the timeline, it goes away. These, the pins will keep working. The same way the pins, the articles, and the videos will keep working for you. The more you put out, the more chances that somebody finds your stuff. That's all. You need to focus on getting traffic. Uh, I would say, to be honest, try to get job seeking traffic. The traffic with the intent to find a job before you start finding traffic to post jobs. And that's the second to last bullet point. Monetize, okay, so focus on uh, candidate traffic, people that are looking for jobs. You monetize through services, ads, affiliate marketing, whatever, whatever your, the easiest way for you is to make money from this. It's how you can upgrade to get that paid job uh, option. And what you're gonna do, once you start getting some trickle traffic coming into the articles, the videos, the pins, you start populating your job board with five to 10 jobs per day, just go on Indeed. Literally, you're helping the company out by just getting eyeballs on it, posting somewhere else. It's not like, this isn't black hat, it isn't gray hat, it's strictly you going on this platform, copying the source, you know, the, the description, the title, the company name, where they can apply to if if it goes to a ATS, the applicant tracking system, put a link to that, put a link to whoever they need to email, whatever you need to do to start put it having jobs on your job board. <laughs> uh, and that's basically it. As soon as you can, again, get that paid option and then take all that money that you're making, keep reinvesting either more articles or doing cold email to get companies starting to apply or spend the time and just and just reaching out to those companies, figuring out a way, emailing, calling them, whatever you got to do to start getting those companies to start posting on your job board. That's how I'd start it. If I had no budget, I'd set it up, have be able to post for free, create content until I made that first $100, $150 or whatever and get upgraded to the paid job option. Uh, in fact, thinking about it, the 125 is for the entire suite. If you just need the paid option, usually it's like 30, 40 bucks for that additional, that add on uh, uh, plugin. So that's it. That's your goal. And then again, once you start getting companies posting and paying, you take all that money that you're making, reinvest it to grow bigger and better and better. So say you got a thousand dollar budget. Same way as before, you just gotta install that paid job board plugin, and then you gotta figure out what you're better at or what you wanna do. Uh, prospecting or creating content. So figure out which one you like. If you like finding emails and cold emailing people, prospect and outsource the content creation. If you like creating content, outsource the prospect. It takes so much fucking time to do both uh unless you have you know 12 hours a day to dedicate to this you're not going to be able to success successfully do both then that's just what it is uh thinking about it uh when i was hiring people to do lead gen for me like prospecting finding names email addresses companies uh titles i could get uh every name for between 25 and 33 cents right that's a lot that's pretty inexpensive you got to have you're gonna have to do a lot of uh setting the requirements down for those uh those prospectors your your, your prospectors but once once you say i only want these people from these companies these titles you're gonna start getting that and you add them to your cold email sequence, whether it's using Agile CRM or whatever. Don't use MailChimp, you're gonna get banned with the quickness. Use a, use a sales CRM to email these people. And again, hey, I just wanna throw on your radar. This is what we got going on, check it out. If they come through, great, take them on sequence. If they become customers, great, take them on sequence. If they don't, have a follow-up email three, four, five days later, 11 days later, 21 days later. You're gonna have to do some sales. Right? You can totally sit there and wait for people to find it, twiddle your thumbs, but you're gonna be waiting a long time. 
you're gonna be waiting because it's, it's happening or happening organically just takes a long ass time so figure out what you like to do and outsource the other one take that other the other part of your budget and you know outsource it uh, again folks on getting traffic you want i mean traffic's gonna be the lifeblood of the business if there's no people posting jobs there's no reason for candidates to come on there if there's no candidates coming on there there's no reason to post jobs so try again focus on getting those candidates coming through again monetize through the job board services ads or affiliate marketing whatever medium or whatever monetization method you want me i use all four i got the job board i have services offered uh actually also products uh advertising display ads and affiliate marketing so i got all these sources of 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 revenue of income um again what in the beginning just start popping in your board five ten jobs per day that's that's literally the only way you're going to start because if i'm if i'm joe company and you send an email saying hey we just started this job board and i go there and there's no jobs on there you think i'm going to post a job no <laughs> i'm not going to break the ice um so start populating it once you have you know some decent traffic coming in you got a uh, 50 100 200 jobs posted that you did. Start reaching out to those, those companies that you're prospecting and pitch the website. Okay. This is, a, this is how I started mine. I didn't start brand new. I mean, I didn't start with zero budget. I, I knew I was going to start a job board. Uh, it was already, I already decided. I was like, I'm going to let it rip also. I'm not going to like create it and get frustrated and stop. Like, I'm going to do this. So I invested. I don't even know. Uh, probably about about a thousand dollars into into prospects, into in the names and the contacts. Um, another about thirty five hundred dollars into creating content. I was doing. I was on both ends. I was like, at that point, I was also working a full time job. So I was like, I can't do both. Like, I'm still, you know, talking. To, you know, I, I'd have to. I had the money to invest in both sides. Um, and then the time was spent tweaking the website, making it better, and then also doing a little bit of prospecting and creating content when different things were needed to be done. <laughs> so that was it. Like about $1,000 on prospects, about $3,500 on, uh, on content, and you know, eventually got to $200 for product one, another $200 for product two, uh, another $60 for the resume templates which started making money instantly and again i started when i first started i was posting 10 jobs a day that was just that was what i was doing while these were prospecting these guys were creating content for me i was posting 10 jobs every night i get off work hop on the computer post 10 jobs uh, next day same thing post 10 jobs uh make sure i add those people to the email or the sales uh sequence boom dump it oh, let me write an article real quick how to do x quick the articles, they don't even have to be hitters. They don't have to be 2,500 word bangers. Some of them answering a simple question, 400 words. Answer the question, hit publish. That's it. And it gets, it gets people coming in because it's answering the question that they're asking. But that's basically the path. Until you have companies coming in posting regularly, you need to manually populate your job. Board. And then if you are already an established website. Say you're you you're a news article or you write news articles for whatever industry you like. You you the you the constructionnews.com. Setting up a job board is as easy as installing the paid job board plugin, populate the job board at 5 to 10 per day, make that prospect list and start reaching out to companies to pitch your website. You know? And you can sit there and say, you already have the traffic. You already have the people coming on. They might not be candidates, but they're people that are looking uh, at news. If people are looking for news, they're probably professionals. They're probably, at least some of them are going to be looking for a job. You know, like, I don't, I'd have to look at the exact statistics as far as how many people work full-time and are also simultaneously looking for a full-time job. But I'm guessing there's a pretty significant percentage that if you have 50,000 people come to your website in a month, it's probably like, Two, three thousand are looking for jobs. So, again, once you start getting those companies posting regularly, then you announce to your audience. You say, "Hey, we have a job board. We're, we created this job board. We have, you know, some big name companies posting already. Come, come check it out." 
and they will. <laughs> there you do. If you have an established website, you're 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 golden. You are golden. You just create a whole different a whole different stream of income from it could be set up in a weekend to make you money indefinitely as long as your website still drives traffic and, and you're gonna keep that gravy train rolling so hey thanks uh thanks for watching this hour and some change uh presentation about uh starting a job board you know the benefits the 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 potential income the how to start one different monetization methods different traffic sources thank you and if you have any questions, just throw them in the comments. I mean, this is kind of like my, 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 my newest baby that I've been working on and continue to work on. And I'm trying to, you know, increase that bad boy's traffic up to 50,000 a month, sell it for $200,000 and play Skyrim for the rest of the day. So again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you. Ciao.